そして96年パイクスピークはいよいよ大詰めへアンリミテッドクラス田島信弘とロッドミレンが出走準備に入るスタート地点は相変わらずの暑さ2人はタイヤチョイスに細心の注意を払ったしかしこの時コース中腹付近には不穏な雨雲が姿を見せていた果たしてそれが走りにどのような影響を与えるのかロッドミレンと田島信弘お互いに目標として掲げた10分の壁をどちらが破ることができるのかカーナンバー1ロッドミレン今スタート Yeah, last year with the, the race course deteriorating, he went second. Tajiba might have had a little bit of an advantage. And Rod also said, hey, Gary Lee Knoyer is right in front of me. He's pretty successful here. I'd like to go right after him. You're on board, and that camera is literally no more than three inches off the road service. Now, what happened also to Millen last year was he got a signal from his pit crew that he was 16 seconds in front of Tajima. It turned out to be six. He backed off the throttle, and he ended up losing by seven tenths of a second. That's the main reason he decided to go first. He's going to set the mark and make Tajima match him, and look at him flying. I tell you, this car is incredible, and this is an amazing blend between technology, best off-road drivers in the world. Here's another look at another pretty fine off-road dri driver, Nobuhiro Tajima. Tajima did not make a qualify. そしてその未練を追いかけるようにカーナンバー六、田島のエスクードがスタート。New twin turbo Suzuki. Now remember, last year he had a dual motor Suzuki. This is a single motor twin turbos. Yeah, a lot of horsepower here. This. カーナンバー六、ディフェンディングチャンピオンでありながら、田島は昨年と同じカーナンバーをつけて出走した。そこに彼の九十六年にかける思いが現れている。モータースポーツの世界では、言うまでもなく、前年のチャンピオンはカーナンバー一をつけることができる。しかし、田島はあえてそれをしなかった。未練は特に最高速に定評がある。スピードが乗る。日本人初の総合優勝を果たした昨年は田島自身最高のパイクスピークダセクションでは後からスタートする田島を振り切らんばかりの速さを見せつける Let me talk a little bit about the Toyota team here. This is technology at its zenith. Toyota has put in a lot of money. They want this win, and they want to break the 10-minute barrier. They put in research, they put in time, they put in money, and they put the best guy for the job as a pilot. We'll just have to wait and see if he can do it. Before the race, we had a chance to talk to Rod because the, the road conditions are so critical to this car. Suzuki, very lightweight car, but I tell you, they've had a lot of... Problems here in practice. He hasn't really gotten a full run. Hopefully, he can do it today. As you can see, he gets it around the corner here at Engineers very well. That big. Ah, so he was the target of the Suzuki's target. He was not the challenger. He was the one who was going to win. He was the one who was going to win. He was the one who was going to win. He was the one who was going to win. He was the one who was going to win. He was the one who was going to win. Nobuhiro Tajima from Japan. Look at him fishtailing through here. He's at 122 miles an hour. He is slower than Rod Millen. Yeah, but he doesn't look as smooth through the corner. Where it's clean. But you know, with some of the overnight rains, it drags the gravel across the road, especially in the corners. I don't know why it's only in the corners, but that's where it's very slippery. Um, so we've got to be a little careful. You're not sure until you get up to the corner exactly how much grip you're going to get. I don't know about you, Bart, but I don't know how you can drive like that where you got to wait for the corner to find out if you're going to have grip. Because if you don't have the grip, you're sliding off the edge. Yeah, you really are. And here's not a place where you want to slide off the edge. But Rod Millen has more experience than just about anyone in the field in all types of road conditions. Just how quick he is. Now, remember, in qualifying, he ran this section in 4 minutes, 28.17 seconds. He is 9 seconds quicker, so Millen is on a good run. He really is. And now he's at that paved section that he was talking about that he wasn't real fond of. But I tell you, tires might be a factor. See how they 
handle the wear and the roughness of the pave section. You can see there, you can see the little chunks of gravel, the little uh, abrasive things that will cause wear and tear on those tires to heat them up. 900 horsepower. This is the old Dan Gurney GTP motor that he ran in his Toyota Eagles, and it is just screaming up this mountain. Specially designed race car. I mean, this thing purebred all the way, 1,950 pounds. In fact, at 100 miles an hour, it generates 1,950 pounds of downforce, which is just incredible in my mind. Well, I'm sure Rod is strapped in and hanging on for dear life here. You're coming up to the end of the Penn Supress section and back on the good old-fashioned dirt there. Now, Noble Hero Tajma, he is slower through Glen Cove by a wide margin. We're talking almost 11 seconds as he has got to get that Suzuki cranked if he's going to catch Rod Millen. And I guarantee you, no one is telling Rod Millen he's got an 11. He didn't have to hold it. Despite the new machine, he was able to fight for a new machine for a new machine for a new machine for a new machine for a new machine. I tell you, I get chills every time I see this. Let's fasten our seat belts and watch for a while. Coming up to the top of the W's, Rod Millen. He is hanging it out, trying to get as much grip as he can. You can see how much dust and dirt is being kicked up by those four BF Goodrich tires. Look at him, he locked up the right front. He locked the right front, and he flipped it around. Rod is really trying as hard as he can here. And I tell you, there are two races going on right now. There is the race to win, to beat Tajima, and there is the race to beat the... So that's why Tajima and Escudo have been able to win a hard fight for Tajima. 長きにわたり数々の伝説が息づく山パイクスピークは時として新たなる挑戦者を拒むのであるしかし、田島は決して諦めなかった。だからこそ、エスクードの持てる力をすべて引き出そうと、懸命な走りを見せる。スリッピーな路面に巧みにトラクションを伝達それはまるでコーナーに陣取った大勢の観客たちに世界屈指のドライビングテクニックを披露しているかのようだだが高度が上がれば上がるほど頂上に近づけば近づくほどわずかな時間で駆け上がっていく田島の体をパイクスピードでした。そして今年もその挑戦の日がやってきた9 seconds off of his overall record now the question is can Tajima really win? well I tell you the work is really cut out for him he's known as the monster because of his big frame and his intimidating driving style but he's going to really have to exhibit all his powers to beat Millen today no and it's not going to happen he's already in the 10 minutes 14 seconds and he's still got to shoot up here and make the left hander Rod the 結果は10分13秒64 10分の壁を破れなかったのはもちろん自らのコースレコードは痛めつける数息さえ苦しくなり思考回路をも低下させるそれはマシンにとっても同じことが言える気圧の変化がマシンに与える影響はあまりにも大きいのだ<音声>この過酷な条件のもと田島と V6S クードはまさに人社一体となるそして山頂の栄光のゴールへと導かれていった。The mountain still won today because they both wanted to see the 10 minute barrier fall. Let's make our way down to victory lane. Clark Kendall has caught up with Rod Millen. <laughs>